This gravel is just loaded with heavies. Check that out. Well, I got excited. <laughs> Thought I found a diamond and peed myself. Lots of good stuff in this. There's a diamond in that. I'll have to dig it out. Hello, my fellow miners, prospectors, and rock lovers. Welcome back to another adventure. Always good to see each and every one of you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you decide to subscribe. Okay, I'm back at the crater of Diamond State Park. We're going to be working on the west drain. The east drain is very hard to get to as far as the cages. So I can't even get my equipment down there. So I'm going to be over here on the west side. So we're going to move over to the west. Possibly go back and dig where I found my flawless 12 point. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. I've got my new classifiers, so I'm going to be testing those out. So let's get to it. I'm going to be using my probe that I brought. Custom made stainless steel 3 8 inch rod with a custom half inch handle. The good thing about using these probes is you can probe down and find gravel veins that contains diamonds. Since most of the diamonds are trapped in gravel, digging down deep, you will find layers of solid gravel and they can contain lots of diamonds. Okay, I'm back in the new trench that was built back in October of 2019. They plowed since I dug my hole where I got my 12 point flawless. So I don't know exactly where that hole was. I've got some pictures, I've got an idea. But in this video, we're going to be using the probe. It's what we use to find the gravel layers. And I'm gonna probe around. I think I found some right here. It's about. <clears throat> There we go, nice little crunch about a foot down. So instead of having to do all that really hard digging like I normally do, and a lot of people still do, since they dug this trench, it exposed a lot of gravel layers and they're only a couple feet down versus the five feet. I'm gonna tackle this layer, see what kind of centers we can get, hopefully get that diamond. And when you're probing, you wanna probe in a good area where you want to dig out. You want to make sure there's gravel in all directions. Every two foot or so this gravel changes so you can have some really good gravel and two foot over it completely changed to, to the gravel you don't want at all. Wow okay we got gravel over here Let's come over here and see what we got. You hear that? It's a big rock. So you want to take the probe out and move it over. There's a layer of crunch right there. That might be a board. Sometimes when you feel those solid thumps like that, that could be a ply board that has been laid down from the old miners to cover up good ore or to keep people from finding the gravel. So we may want to dig that up. And if it is, you definitely want to get the material underneath the ply boards. That's where my one carat came from. Here, you will listen to the different sounds below the surface. That sounds like a piece of plywood to me. It's always good to look at the end of your probe. Okay, let's come over here and check this spot and listen to the difference. Hear that crunch? That's what we're after. That means it's gravel and really small gravel about two feet down. 
Okay, we've used the probe to locate the gravel. I want to check around in this spot and then we'll get to digging. Ooh, crunchy. Crunch and then a solid hit like it's a plywood. Come on, plywood. Okay, so I moved locations. I came over here and probed and I found some gravel that's really crunchy and it's at least a couple thick in gravel. So we're going to move over here and probe around. That's always something good to do is just because you find gravel in one spot don't mean there's a spot that's even better. So we're going to see what I can find over here. Hard pan. So I found gravel going through the hard pan which is really good. Move over here. I'm not sure what that is. It's starting to thin out. There we go. Ah, found it. So it's coming towards the east. That's north. That's south. So it's going towards the east. Let's go towards the north. And I go about a foot away from my last hole, just so you know. Let's go back to the east. Not much gravel here. At least uh, 90 degrees. It's always 10 degrees hotter out here. So keep that in mind when you come out here. There we go, here's some. Oh yeah. I can't even push down so much gravel. Let's take a look. See if you can hear it. Went through hard pan. Okay, we jumped around looking for some gravel and I may have found a better spot over here. I'm gonna work on getting this area right in here. It's about two feet, two and a half feet down. So that's what I'll be doing for the next two, three hours. I'll catch back with everybody later on. When you're digging your hole to get the gravel, you want to dig at least five feet wide and five feet, five feet by five feet. 
at this depth. If you're going to go down six feet and deeper, you got to have it even wider and it takes several people. So I'm pretty much at the gravel. I'm going to clean this all off. I'm going to get all this dirt off the gravel and start scooping buckets up. When you're throwing your dirt out, you just want to throw it about two, three feet away. You don't want it near your edges. It'll just fall back in. Plus, you're going to have to refill the hole, so you want your dirt nearby. It'll make the fill in a lot easier. It's like I've hit a clay layer. Hit this layer here, a bunch of clay. Probably not many diamonds in that stuff. We're just throwing it out. Ah, uh, when you're digging, you're living. Everything else is just waiting. Okay, about a foot to go. And up here, the gravel's right there, so it's wavy. Sometimes it's it does a wavy formation and it's deeper in other spots to get to the gravel. And you always want to get that little bit above the layer because there's going to be diamonds on the very top of the gravel you don't want to miss. All right, so this is where I'm okay, this is where I'm at on the hole. I just took a shovel out of this stuff right here. I started coming to some rocks and some gravel. Not much, but there is gravel in here, so there could be diamonds. That's a lamprite and gravel. Crushed up lamprite, which is a really good indicator. I'm going to put some of this in my bucket. May not be a bad idea. Definitely, it's definitely a layer above the layer I'm trying to get to. We got about a half foot to go, and I can start getting the better stuff. All right, been going at it pretty hard. Found a small gravel layer that I've been chasing right in here, starting to thin out almost to the hard pan, which is pretty cool. Scrape on that a little bit, but getting my buckets filled too much. Just gonna be doing half buckets for a while. That's where I'm at. You can see down in here, there's a little bit of gravel. There's some. Lots of gravel up in there. Okay, I've worked my way over towards the north and I've come across some metal. Let's see what this chunk of metal could be. Oh, look at that big chunk of like a big nail. And that's a good indicator because metal is probably heavier than a lot of these rocks. It may just have a lot of heavy minerals near it. And I do recall in my video where I found my 12 point, there was a bunch of metal in that material. Looking pretty good. Mm. 
There's a big jasper, so I'm gonna wanna put that whole thing in my bucket. All kinds of material stuck to it. It's a good sign. Okay, I've had my safety meeting. Got a nice dry shirt on, took my boots off, had something to eat. I feel great. It's time to get back in the hole, get some more of this gravel, start hauling buckets all the way over to my cage. And for those of you who don't know, this is really considered the artifact side of the Crater Diamond. This is where a lot of the early mining companies were set up. And look what I just dug up. Big chunk of metal. That is crazy. This could have been used to mine for diamonds back in the day. You see all the rust. So that's a good indicator. Might have some heavy minerals as well. Okay, the gravel's starting to thin out. I'm having to undercut, which means getting way up underneath. And then sooner or later, it's just going to collapse with material I don't want from above. I got water coming up. Anytime you probe holes, anytime you probe holes, you can have water start pouring in and it will fill up your hole. Sometimes it'll fill it up within 15 minutes. So you'll have to pell out the water. Yeah, I'm just about finished here. Got 12 buckets. Not a bad sample. I like to try to get a diamond in about... 18 buckets. If I can't get one in 18 buckets, something's wrong. Working on getting buckets hauled. Man, this stuff is awesome. That's the hard pan. Lots of small gravel in this stuff. Okay, just about got all the buckets in my cage. I think I have three more to grab. Getting to be a closing time at the crater. I'll have to come back out tomorrow and wash it. Day two, we got the hole dug, we got our material. Now it's time to wash these buckets like a beast. Get those diamonds. And if you're gonna come out here at this time, you gotta wear a mask under these pavilions while you're washing at all times. Okay, time to wet sip like a beast. Knock these seven buckets out in about 20 minutes. Okay, when you're wet sifting like a beast, you don't use your little hand scooper and put a scoop at a time. You grab the entire bucket and you dump it on your screen like this. Now you're wet sifting like a beast. You might as well throw that hand scooper away. You don't need it here. Check out that conglomerate. Whoa, that is sick. I mean, that's just fused together. Look at that, guys. So with this conglomerate, I'm gonna wanna scrub on this really good and get all these cavities because there could be a diamond in that stuff right there. We'll scrub on that. Get it cleaned up good. That is awesome. So much fun to get the conglomerate. Just a really cool specimen. Check that out. That is so cool. All right. Not bad for your top screen. 
see what else we can get down here. All right, we got lamp right. Did you get a piece of lamp right? That's a good indicator. We've seen a, look, we can get a piece of agate and some red jasper. We're doing good. Sandstone. Piece of volcanic tuff, jasper, more jasper, and over here the lamprite's even like a brown color lamprite, brown and black. The calcite. We found almost everything on that identification card on the first bucket. Everything but a diamond. Buckets almost finished, looking at around five minutes. So bucket five minutes, it's not bad. We'll get the hand scooper and scrape the bottom, see what kind of heavy mineral we're getting in this gravel. It's always fun to do. Might see a diamond again, pick it up out of the bottom screen. Screen's floating away, buddy. Screen's floating. So, you know, I just got Oh, yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to clean this out. It won't take me long. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you don't mess around. <laughs> you don't mess around. Well, for him, nothing to get done around here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and scrape this bottom while he cleans that tank out. Oh, yeah. kind of. Oh, look at that. Holy smoke. Look at all that stuff. Whoa, that is crazy. That's crazy, guys. Wow. We got one bucket done in about five minutes. He's got to clean the tank out, get all that silt washed out, and get me a quick safety meeting in, get back at it. All right, time to get bucket number two washed. your bucket from sticking get all this mud off get all that off get all the inside clean and your bucket won't stick mm -hmm. 
in that big old nail. I wear gloves out here. That would hurt. There's our agate we've been looking for. Check that one out. It's a good piece. Pretty jasper, nice and polished up. More tough. Just another nail. Do trust the calcite maybe. Or even even agate. Sometimes that agate. Uh, I'd say all that stuff. Something to keep. All the trees in here ain't diamond. All right, I'm gonna spare you all the time and get these buckets washed and we'll check out centers and hopefully see some diamonds soon. Here is bucket number 11 and lots of glass on that one. That'll ru ruin your day for sure. So be sure you wear your gloves. Looks like we have a heart shaped rock somewhat. Kind of makes a heart. Lots of red jasper. Every bucket looks like this, so it's good. All right, I'm on the last bucket. And this bucket had that big piece of metal. So I'm gonna wanna make sure you get all of that material off of it. There could be a diamond in that stuff. Not sure what that was from, but yeah, get it cleaned up and Take me to a safety meeting, number two. Probably won't be able to see that, but there's a that green speck, that's chromium dioxide. That's a really good heavy indicator. You see that little green speck, eventually you'll get diamonds. So we're seeing lots of good indicators in this stuff. Lots of spinel, see the spinel right there, that black shiny rock, lots of red, iron, hematite, there's some hematite, part of magnetite was to get the magnet, a lot of that would stick to the magnet, it's looking good, bucket 12, time to get the centers made. buckets we got three buckets of concentrate to work get those done here in a minute here's the metal I pulled out a huge metal object this could have came from the Lee Wagner mining operations back in the 1930s when I asked Shirley Strong because her grandpa ran that operation and we have a bunch of nails that I found on my top screen Here's a crystal that actually has a facets. Check those out. So you know you can actually find crystals with facets at the Crater of Diamonds. Not very big. This looks like some, maybe some barite.
Okay, here's the first two flips. This one stayed together pretty good. But this one over here, it kind of blew out. Notice I don't have a Saruka bed yet. So I'll need to make a few more flips to get a bed started. That way it don't blow out, make cavities like this. It'll stay a night, nice tighter center. There's the green chromium dioxide right there so that's a maybe i have more more than one piece of it but yeah looking good piece of metal well i got excited <laughs> thought i found a diamond and peed myself but it's just quartz, like always. Lots of it though. Look at all that stuff. Lots of good stuff in this. There's a diamond in that. I'll have to dig it out. bucket down on the cons just made the first flip of the second bucket I guess they're still looking pretty good okay I'm on the third bucket of cons I have peed myself so much from all the courts from all the close calls look at this one yeah, I thought that was a diamond Grr. Yeah, getting down to the bottom of the buckets. If we don't see it here, we might get it on the tray. That's where I found most of my diamonds at home. Going through my centers. All right, that's the end of the cons. The last two flips. The whole time they stay like this, so lots of heavy indicators in that area just a matter of time you'll get a diamond working this stuff if i was to get 10 more buckets i probably would have had a diamond may have just needed two more buckets there could be one in all of this there are just so many heavies that the diamond may not have been able to work its way up oh i'm so thankful for this wagon made by Groundworks. If you need a good wagon for the diamond mine, these are the ones to get. Leave me a comment if you think you can see a diamond in this stuff. There's some really good indicators in here. Check out all those heavy minerals. 
man, that is just crazy. All right, here's the reflip. I took all the centers and made one more, and that's the reflip. We'll scan over this real quick and take everything inside. I'll go through everything on the tray. If I don't see a diamond on the center, looks like we won't see one in the video, but if I find a diamond on the tray, you can always go to my... Oh my gosh, that might be a diamond right there. I'll have to check it out. Be a small one. But that's some good centers not to have a diamond. And we now have the reflip of the reflip. And you could probably reflip this reflip and reflip those reflips and keep getting material. But sooner or later, the heavies will thin out. So you can only reflip so many times. Hope you all enjoyed learning how to use a probe and finding the gravel layers that are below the surface here at the Crater of Diamonds. It's just a matter of time. If you get the right gravel layer, you'll get diamonds. We also wash material like a beast. You just dump the bucket on and go with my classifiers. No little hand scooper needed here. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.